All right, I've got 5 o'clock, November the 17th. I'd like to ask Brother Coleman for a word of prayer. Let us bow our heads. Father God, we just want to thank you for this night, Lord. We thank you for each and every one that pressed out with the officials tonight, Lord, and our community and the people around us. We ask you to just touch this meeting that we'll get an understanding and be able to help the community. And Lord, we just give you the praise and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. See, we have some city employees today. Thank you all for coming. Uh, do you all have anything to bring? Okay. Um, we got the new elected mayor of Centertown. He's just coming by to see how things was conducted around here. Um, we got a... Uh, Meredith Skaggs, I always want to call her Eskers, but it's Meredith Skaggs. And uh, appreciate her, no ends. Uh, Strattons, do y'all have anything to bring forward tonight? We, we like the, uh, the lights. The lights, are those new? That, that is to thanks of all the council members here as well, so uh, it's really exciting. So thank you all. <laughs> the old ones, I think, are older than me. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, before you have the minutes of the last meeting, I'll give you a minute to look over that. Uh, I'll ask for a motion to accept the minutes as read. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as read. I have a first, second, second by Coleman. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like so. Motion carries. City Attorney Ward, do you have anything to bring to the table this afternoon? Do you want me to update you what I know on the street? Yes, uh, that's that, that was in my discussion list anyway, so okay. bring it out. So you all might remember back before uh, George resigned, there had been a request by Mr. Decker to close about three areas of streets that had never really been opened up and haven't been used in years um, on the intersection of Thomas and Phillips Street being a portion the, of... The intersection of what? It's, it's affecting his property, which is at the intersection of Thomas and Phillips Street, but it's talking about the, uh, the old alleyway that is no longer in use, uh, a portion of Simmerman Street, which was platted but never actually opened, and then a portion of Phillips Street, which was discontinued and never really used over the years. Uh, George and I had, had talked about this, and the concern that came up is that there is a corner lot up here directly north of Mr. Decker owned by DKJ Investments. And I'm not sure who that is. Um, I thought George maybe had had a contact or, or knew someone Mr. Decker may. From what we have in our uh, previous minutes, we did discuss this and we did vote on this, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. And basically, there was one lady that wasn't I think that was the D and K yeah I, I think she was affiliated with that company okay yeah and I think that was the issue she wasn't she, she wasn't uh, fully on board and I think George was going to try from what I can remember I talked to Lisa about this he was going to try and speak with her and of course things went down and, and then he resigned and is no longer here so I don't know what happened all right now then that property that this company owns mm -hmm interferes with all of this or well, is setting where? It's setting right here north of Mr. Decker's property and, and even though none of these streets were ever opened and it's not like they're actively being used, her property is kind of uh, situated in such a way that it would probably be best to go ahead and obtain her consent as well. Um, if, you, if you look at Are we going to give it to them or are they buying it? Well, we voted on in the previous meeting is what I'm made aware of as long as everybody was in agreement that we would just forfeit ours over to them and that was in the agreement in the minutes and forfeit it to which one which to this owner. um mr decker owns mr. everything decker. On, on every side except for simmerman street uh there's 25 feet there that would likely go with mr calloway's property but he owns everything on either side of phillips uh, and that alleyway 
with the exception of uh, DKJ Investments, which after there was some hiccup there, I believe he obtained a second survey which cut off instead of going all the way down. How, uh, but, uh, how much property is in question? I don't know. The, the road, all we're talking about is actually just roadways that were platted and not actually improved. Um, my understanding was the, the agreement and the approval that the council had previously done, it was with the understanding that everybody involved was consenting. And all it, parties it was, was a big issue. Was okay with that. That was the biggest concern. So does that one party still have an exit and everything? Yeah, I mean they they have plenty of frontage right there on Ellis off. Avenue and the rest of Phillips Street here, uh, which goes past the property. I, I just I think I just remember there being that discussion. Lisa and I were talking this morning, mm -hmm. and we don't really know what happened to it because George <laughs> left office and he was kind of the one who was pointing on that. So. So that's just an update. I really think that if someone approaches the city and they want property that they can purchase it. I really do. This business of us giving away property is well, not what I consider a good course of action. It's not so much giving away property, it is basically abandoning, formally abandoning um, city streets and rights away that were never actually formally opened or haven't been in, and haven't been in use in several years. And the way that Kentucky law reads is when you do abandon those, because the city was platted in this area and sold off by plats with those streets shown on the plats, that when they're abandoned, then the the ownership goes to the middle to the, to the owners on each side. So that's by operation of law. Um, th but you are correct in that when, when we are re requested to close certain streets and rights away, there are costs involved, such as the uh, preparation and publication of the that's ordinance, right. as well as record recording it with the, uh, with the county clerk. So there are some expenses to the city. And well, is it, it Mr. Decker the one that took that other piece of property that we freely gave away going up toward the, the old cemetery? There, the other side of, uh, or beside the, what used to be the old locker or me. Uh, this is the area, this is, this is where you're talking about. That yeah, is, I know. <coughs> well, it hasn't been done. Yeah, it hasn't been done yet. It was talked about. You He's all got one piece, hasn't he? No. I mean, he he owns all this property. But it's just that was what we voted. I was on, me and Station yeah. was on. Everybody on this council yeah. was there on the. Right. Okay. Um, it just hasn't got done because of this one tie of the DNK. And so now he wants more. Well, no, he's, no, no, he's no, just no. wanting to get it done at this point. That was approved, and from that, George obtained certain consent forms that have to be done to accompany. It has to be done by ordinance. You all voted to do this. Well. There was, a, there was an issue that came up because I think George was talking to this lady at the time, so no consents or anything were ever signed, so the ordinance was never officially drafted, and then George resigned. So here we are. So what, what I'll, let's just table this until one of us can make contact, see if we can make contact with this individual, and let's try to get this at a later date because there's no action that I feel like should be taken until we talk to this. Yeah, I mean, this, you see my notes here. That's what I was waiting on so I could do the work. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's table this to uh, probably the January meeting because um, we'll have a short meeting December. So let's table this until um, January and see if we can get uh, contact information if you have anybody as well. And then we'll reach out and then we'll discuss this in January's meeting if everybody's in favor with that. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. All right. The only other thing I have, Bo, is I, I will mention, I, I don't see him here today. I told Jeff how to update him. But the um, the recreational vehicle that was there across from Ellis Park has been removed. Yes. And they, they, were, they, they worked with me on that, and I appreciate it. Also, so, so. somebody had a welfare check on a tent, and uh, Officer York said that it's been taken care of. They was just airing them out as well. So, it's, uh, so that was taken care of. They're so. across from the park. Right. Uh, no, what, uh, no, down here. It was down here. The oh, yeah. But the one that the, the RV was across the park. It's been yeah, here. Park. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So. All right. Well, thank you. Good news. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> yeah, a whole lot cleaned up there. So it's doing pretty good. All right. Before you, you have the financial reports, bank statements, income statements, and account payable. I'll give everybody a time <coughs> to review that. And then I'll ask for a motion to accept the bank statements and financial reports. I 
make a motion to accept the bank statements and financial reports. I have a motion. I have a motion first, second. Tony. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like size. Motion carries. Thank you. Station first. Tony second. All approved. <clears throat> okay, action old business. Um, let's see, let me get there. This is for the length of the service award. Got to find it first. The back page. Okay. All right, this is be the second reading. Stacia, do you care to read that off? Okay. Uh, City of Hartford, Kentucky, Ordinance Number 2022-04. An ordinance amending Ordinance 2018-09 to the B. 19. Okay. To reflect an increase in the length of service awards for city workers working zero to five years from $75 to $200. So this is the second reading. Um, basically, this is a, it's a kind of a longevity thing for appreciation to our employees. Um, with that being said, I'll ask for a motion to accept the ordinance 2022-04. I make the motion that we accept the ordinance. I second. I have a first and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. All right. Go back to my notes. Okay. So we um, we accepted the bid to improve the sidewalk um, right here in front of the police department. We since then went back, and this is going to be a little bit of a project, and Terry, you might help me out with this, but with that being said, here's the outlay of this. With that being said, from my blueprints that I have in my office, basically it states that it's ADA approved now, with the exception on this side. Right. My understanding, though, is if you modify that, it has to comply with the ADA rules. Okay. I, I make it. So that, even that was if one of the issues that we had with some of the downtown side on the right. So basically, what they're telling me is nothing on this side we can do ADA because it'll just go into the street alley. So what they decided they could do is build a walkway, kind of like this coming up where the handicap spot is in front of that area, and pull it up to, mm -hmm. to, to the same grade. Yes. Okay. Kind of kind of box it in and come in like that. So there's two different bids on this. And the ramp itself, so basically there's two different ones. It's a handicap ramp, and that's going to be in front of it, and it'll be basically right there at the handicap spot, parking spot. And it has $2,346.25. Now that's just for the ramp. The other one is the wall that's going to have to be built in between that area. And that's 2000 Three hundred and ninety-seven dollars and fifty cents. Um, I'm going to leave that with you all. Uh, it's it is up to you all on how you all want to go about this. The one thing that I will say, it'll be very more ADA approved. Um, so. I'm just going to interject here, and, and I know it's two separate line items, but I think actually you have to look at this as the same project because they go together. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just the two. Yeah. It should be just one project together. But I think you're still fine within your limits. The only thing I, w I would maybe recommend, Bo, because you are getting a little bit too cold probably for concrete work anyway this time of year. Yeah. Is, Almost definitely. Yeah. Uh, might reach out to our contacts we've, we've given our engineers plenty of work to work on just kind of make sure run it by them make sure there's nothing that we can't do right maybe make sure it's the most attractive and best use of our funds right you think that's yeah i mean that's fine we can uh if that's what the council decides they want to do i'm, I'm fine with that so I, um, I i see what you're saying as a solution but i'm just wondering yeah well and it, and it may be i just know it, the we, biggest thing is the, the police department side of it needs to be 
fixed. Well, this entire area does. It basically it does. Awkward and mm -hmm. If you remember when we did the sidewalk project downtown, one of the reasons, unfortunately, we were unable to do the right-hand side is because the the very high cost mm -hmm. of making it conform mm -hmm. with ADA because of the, the elevation grade that the, when the state widened the yeah. highway years ago. And the prices of concrete itself is right. just going up. And so, so that's what I'm a little bit This can be tabled. Um, I'm... I'm I think I'm just brand I, I think if you can get them to commit to that price in decent weather, they would probably have to go for it. I just want to make sure that what they're proposing is going to be something that... Yeah, I don't have a problem talking to David Howell about that yeah. as well. So it's it's at the mercy of the council, however you all... Is that something we could research grant funding for through grad? Um, yeah, I mean, there's... Maybe? There's uh, reconstructioning grants out there um, that we can look at. <clears throat> Sometimes the AARP, you're right. I was going to say, I'd look at something maybe even smaller for that from a community standpoint. When you get into grad funding and everything, by the time they take their engineering fee and their grad fee or for a $5,000 project, it's not going okay. work. Yeah. All right, so what's... Uh, What's the final verdict? Do y'all want to table this and see what the, the engineer from engineer David Howe says? Or I'm up for it for whatever y'all want. I, I'm just not going to. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be fully up to speed on engineering mm -hmm. ADA compliant <laughs> laws. So that's what the engineers are for. And then I, if, right. you're, if you're trying to make it ADA, I'll be more comfortable with them saying, "Yeah, that it plan should will work." Be ADA. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Okay. All right. <coughs> so this will be tabled for discussion at a later date after I talk to uh, David Howe with Bell Engineering. All right. All right. So in old business, we the water department came up with uh, what is that term? Biden meters. Uh, Permitted me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can he pronounce that one? Appreciate that one. So basically, all all we need on record is what account we would like to take that out of. We didn't vote. We voted to approve that. We just need to make sure that if, what account. How much was it now? Uh, what was the total? Seven, Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven thousand. Over a three-year payment Over plan. Three years. So, in my opinion, it. Um, and this is just my opinion. It's at shell's mercy, but I think the occupational tax would be a, a a good one to take out of. Yeah, I agree. So with it's you. on y'all, and I'll ask for a motion to accept to take out of whichever account that you all would like. I make a motion we take it out of the occupational tax. A second. I have a first and a second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like side. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Um, Action on new business. I, like I said, we do have the mayor of uh, Centertown here with uh, the new elected mayor of Centertown, Mike Audris, with us. Um, we have, uh, I've been talking to him and some of the city officials down there, and I would like to surplus our old existing Christmas lights that we have, um, like up there in the uh, upstairs here, basically. And I'd like to surplus them, and after it, it was declared, if it gets declared surplus, I would like to see if we can <coughs> donate those to the city of Centertown. I think so, that's the only logical thing to do. So two things. Number one, it's a special call, so we what? can't take action if it's not on the agenda. Hmm. But if it's something that we have as property that we are transferring to another government agency, then we don't have to do the whole run and Surplus. jump through, and through that. Okay. And, and it can, you know. Okay. And you're also talking about something of not significant value, nominal value, anyway. Yeah, so right. that's a mayor's call. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Then that'll be fine. Okay. So any time that I, you all can ratify it and tell him good <laughs> so job. So any time yeah. that, um, like if I wanted to add on, if you anything that you want to add on a special call meeting has to be on the agenda and published prior because you can only take action on things at a special call that's on the agenda. Yeah. You can discuss it, but you can't take any action. Thank you, lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this for our normal meeting. 
if Next it were a normal week, week, we could have been. So yeah, gotcha. Mm. All right, that's why you're here. Live and learn. Appreciate it. You don't, you don't have to come back anymore. Okay. You're good. <laughs> uh, we'll, take, really we'll, we'll take care of that um, within a day yeah. or two, and um, I'll get with um, Jason maintenance. And um, well, Jonathan's here, so we'll get with you all and um, see what we can do for you. Thank you. Do we have to have here her here at all special call meetings? Who? <laughs> yeah. For Keep my for yeah. for my safety <laughs> and yours, yes. Mike, you're too, right? <laughs> okay, I'm so I'm glad you're here. I am too. Mary Bell isn't, but thanks. <laughs> so just for informational, I, I'm going to give some informational. No business on this. <laughs> uh, Gillespie Street project on the water lines has got started today, so. Um, um, they are going to be up and running on that. They'll hit the ground running Monday, yes. and so basically that that'll get that'll be done before too long. Okay. So that's about all I've got. I'm going to go around the table. Um, Jerry, do you have anything to bring forward to the good of the body? No, I just uh, like the way the city's beginning to look better, different about everywhere. <clears throat> Um, I don't know whether I can bring this up or not. <laughs> Things can be discussed. Can't do anything. Can't take action. Can't take action. I know the Bennetts are still looking for a concrete man for their sidewalk over here. Who is? The Bennetts. Oh, they are? Yes, they are. Yeah, I keep prodding them every week. Okay. Maybe you can put them on. Well, I did. I gave them that name and number, and Joe talked to him. But then Joe left for Las Vegas, and he's hiking the Grand Canyon this mm. weekend. So. It's and Dara, yeah, that Dara, realizes, not important. Dara okay. realizes she doesn't know how to deal with a concrete man. So anyway, but they are working on it, and I will keep on them. Okay. I also have had someone approach me, and, and they, they talked to the city some years ago, and I remember this. As you turn in to Oakwood Cemetery and you go down the hill to I think Second Street that then makes the turn to the left. It's a group of family plots there. It's the Porters. And that hill is such that it keeps eroding. And it's really eroded after the rain we had this year. You're talking right up as you go over Iron Mountain Hill? No, not up on the hill. No. Oh, okay. No, this is down here. Right. It's underneath that hill. Is it right yeah. before you turn on Embry Woods? But going out towards us? You turn down Oakwood into Oakwood Cemetery. The first step. The first step. That's okay, so it's not off, not off Iron Mountain. I thought you were talking about that. Now, is that where we put that tile mm -hmm. in? Yes. Okay, I talked to her. Um, so basically... Years ago, or just no, recently, new, new work's been done. We put we put who two. Who are you talking to? Uh, what's who lives? Uh, uh, Miss Snoresworthy. Yeah. Flora. Flora. I talked. No, she was no, talking no, no, no. about on her side of the road. Yeah, not, that's not, her side. Not the road. On We're talking in the side. cemetery. Oh, okay. As you turn in the cemetery, you go down that dip. I think there's two roads, and then there's mm -hmm. a third one at the bottom of that big hill. Mm -hmm. Do you know where Pendleton was on both of Oakwood? I think she's on that curve. Okay. Where what? Have you been out there recently? No, I was going to drive out there today, but I We'll look at Jonathan. We'll get together, and we'll look at that. Uh, and and um, it It's there close to the entrance. Okay. And they, it's at the bottom of the hill there. The city did a lot of tile work recently. And that should take care of a lot of erosion issues. That, that not it, not there. It didn't. You don't think so? Okay. And that's what she's telling me. We'll look at it and see. And yeah. Um, Before you get to any work that they, the city did. Yeah. Is the black concrete breaking up? And she says it's breaking up. No, no, no. The whole the mud. The, they're afraid the graves are going to start coming out. Okay. Or, Why is it? Yeah, they're afraid that this Yikes. that it may really <laughs> wash out. Yeah. All right. I'll get and with them tomorrow. They're old. Good. Some of them are very old, and yeah. probably wasn't a good place to pick, but yeah. they're there. So. Well, we'll definitely look and see what we can do to divert that water. Stacia, do you have anything to bring?
the um, loving the vibe of the city and the positive feedback, um, the work that Meredith's been doing, the Facebook page, all the history stuff that's coming up and being reposted, and yes. people are really, um, I think, energized about things we're doing. Yes, I, yes, they are. I think these lights really. I, I, know it. I can I agree, really and, I, and I and I appreciate all the council and all the employees and the volunteers, even. Sharon, I mean, uh, they, um, they've they all, everybody's been good, The every, everybody's had a good vibe, and I want to continue to do that, so thank you all for everything that you all do as well. Coleman, do you have anything to bring forward? I just thank all the uh, council members that got voted back in. And Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I'm looking for a new year. Mm -hmm. Great things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Positive mindset. Mr. Raffro, you have anything? Tara, you got anything? No, I'm just staring at my mother, making wondering how how mean she's gonna be tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Look like she's gonna be pretty mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does anybody have anything that they would like to discuss or? Now's your time. <laughs> yes. Okay. 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 So, well, first of all, I do want to tell you, the city looks fantastic, and I'm super, super proud of it, and I'm proud of the council and the mayor and everybody for doing so much. Now, here's my beat. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. Bring it. You were bringing up that um, one of these projects that you're doing, you want to use occupational tax money for. Correct? Okay. I pay occupational tax. I pay city business licenses. I pay all my property taxes, all that kind of good stuff, right? Okay, so my beef is if you're going to have other people come in that don't have brick and mortar places or do not have um, ties with the county or something like that, if they're not here, every revenue dollar that they make is going out of our city, out of our county. We're not getting occupational tax from them. You're not getting any kind of anything. They're just taking our money and leaving, and we don't see a penny of it, okay? So I'm wondering if maybe there's some way either to require them to pay occupational tax or if there's some kind of fee whenever they come here they would have to pay a fee to the city each time that they set right. up. Are you talking about food trucks? Food trucks. Yes. Yeah. So basically from the information that I, I, I've received in, in the ordinances that was passed uh, the $75 kind of waived the occupational. I've talked to Tara since then we're going to review this, and I would like to have something to bring forward at the December meeting, even if we have to stiffen up the uh, the uh, business license, the occupational tax. So that's something that I would like to bring forward because we, we strive on our businesses that we have in, in the city, and we support you all, and so we'll do everything that we can to make sure that we can do what we have to do to be done. And, and I'll just I'll just remind, too, that when... when we up last updated the occupational tax and the business licenses. At the time, we there was no place to eat in Hartford. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it was it was barren when it came. Every, lunch bell rang and we all ran across the bridge. But um, obviously, we've had significant growth since then. We've seen a lot of great things happen in the city. And at the time, it was like, oh, we we just need to feed our workers. But at the same time, I can appreciate most the definitely. So, so, so that's something that we're going to try to have. That's something that the December meeting, it's going to be a short meeting because that'll be our Christmas dinner as well. Pause. Oh, yes. Uh, I've got a question. Uh, when you're talking about uh, increasing business license taxes, is that for countywide or city? So basically, or that'll outside? be just, that'll be outside. Okay. That'll be just outside right. because Maybe it's, it's, like it's basically uh, like the $75, you can get a business license. And basically, that'll cover you for that day. Is that right? For, no, no, that's a year. That for the year, year it'll, it'll, it'll basically take care of that. You're seeing, what you're seeing now is, in, 
used to, a food truck would maybe come in once a month <coughs> and set up shop <coughs> from out of town. And what we're seeing now is they're coming back three, four times a week, every week. Uh, and they're not, and they're, so as so she was saying, I'm, yeah. Is, as a business owner that does, you know, sell food and things like that, I mean, it doesn't like completely hurt us. I mean, we're okay, and we're okay with competition. It's just, it doesn't seem fair right. that we pay every single time, and they come in three, four times, almost open in Hartford as many days as we are, mm -hmm. and yet they're not paying anything for right. that. Mm -hmm. And that, that was a policy and an ordinance that was passed prior to me being here and some right. of the council members as well. So uh, Tara's going to revise like that and see what we can come up with. every time they come to set up, you know what I'm saying? Maybe yes. something like that. Yep. And that could go into the occupational tax fund right. or however you want to you right. know, do the monies with so that. So just get the application and the ordinance and, and let's see if we can have, even if we have to have a special call meeting beforehand <laughs> to have a first and second. So, um, Let's see if we can get something done in December. We got you. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, so do the other businesses around here. But we'll, we'll do what we can to make the necessary happen. Uh, and we understand. We don't, um, and like you said, everybody likes competition for the most part. But when you when you all are have to pay the occupation more than anybody, then it's not fair to you well, all. Well, and so. it wasn't bad when it was like once a month. But when you're talking two, three days a week, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a lot. So we'll, we'll definitely just look into that. Um, three trucks. Uh -oh. And, and then... The same one. Well, they the 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 oh, okay. said right in front of the library the other day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to. They're not supposed to really yeah. sit in front of that library because... Well, let's they discuss will. it when it's on the agenda for yeah. the next meeting. Yep, so that'll be fine. So <laughs> even if we have to have a special call meeting, <laughs> we'll have a first and a second. And just let me know on the, on the uh, uh, application and the ordinance, and we'll see what we can come up with as a as a council. So, All right, uh, Meredith, do you have anything to bring to the table? I mean, I can give a general update. Um, Voices of Oakwood went extremely well. Uh, we had We could not have asked for better weather. It was so beautiful you could cry both nights. Um, <laughs> uh, they did a wonderful job getting Oakwood ready for us. They trimmed trees and made sure everybody had a safe experience. We had over 80 people come, which is great because we only had 80 tickets. So we need <laughs> a few extra people on each, each ride. Uh, we have some interns doing some work for us, so Kentucky Wesley College and OCTC uh, with some videos for a walking tour to hopefully have ready for the summer, historic walking tour, and some logos and mural designs and things like that. Uh, we're working on Shop Small Saturday and some events and publications in the future. Christmas on the Square will be December 10th. We have a ton of things lined up for that. Local businesses are going to be providing like scavenger hunt and face painting fire pits, bouncy house, the ice skating, Santa, vendors, all of that fun stuff will be here on December 10th. There will also be a donation box for uh, food donations that we can collect. Uh, it is the one year anniversary of the tornado, so we'll have a donation box to help people who still need some help. Um, the tattoo shop is actually going to be the point for that. So uh, we're excited for what's up ahead. And there's also Light Up Hartford. I'm working on getting something into the paper either this week or next week. But there's going to be prizes for residential and for businesses to decorate. So if you know people who do a good job decorating their house, uh, call them out and tell them to sign up for the competition. Uh, we'll publish that map of everyone who signs up. So hopefully people come to Hartford and they drive around and they get to see all the Christmas lights, not only on Main Street here with the businesses in the city, but they just spend their evening cruising around looking at the residential lights too. So I also told... Um Lisa, we need to get together pretty soon for prizes, giveaways, and stuff. So maybe next week we can do, get together. What I intend... Did you confirm a Grinch? Oh, yeah. Are you going to be a Grinch? Yes, I'm doing it. Okay. I'm going to steal everybody's prizes. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that was gonna be you. I'm going to be the Grinch. I'm going to eat people's cotton candy and everything. Like the whole day? 11 to 7? 
I gotta find y'all find me the outfit. I will definitely get the Grinch. Because we're having cinnamon rolls with Santa from eight to ten at Soreheads, and if the Grinch wanted to pop in, I'm <laughs> find me the outfit. I'm there. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll right still now. eat. I'll eat the. Uh, I'll eat the. Candy and steal the ornament. <laughs> Throw the hot cocoa on everybody. Yes, I'm there. I'm being an elf with tights and shoes. Yes, most definitely the Grinch. I'm sending Lisa a link right now. Yeah, get the Grinch. I'm there. When are you all having your winter center fans? The, our gift giveaway is on the 9th, and then our parade got finalized as the 3rd, the weekend before. Okay. That, 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 is y'all's. that reminds me, on yeah, December the 3rd, I think, is that right? We're gonna, we're gonna parade in Beaver Dam. December 3rd, Parade in Beaver Dam, 5 yes. o'clock. Yes. Um, the city maintenance and Marissa is getting a float together, and I ask all the city council to be on the float with us. Um, they're getting a float together, so I would like to see if all our council members and everybody be included December in that float. December 3rd for Beaverdam? Yes. Right? What time? December. 5 o'clock. December 3rd at 5 o'clock. Are we going to have shirts made? We're working on that. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Okay. Working on it. So, if you could be there. Okay. Okay. All right. Tara's hungry. we got to go. Um... I uh, make the motion we adjourn this meeting. You don't get to make a motion. <laughs> Do I have a motion? I make a motion. <laughs> I'll second. I'll cancel those two motions. First, second, all in favor say aye. aye. Motion carries. Thank you all. We'll get you all. We'll get you back. <laughs>